Hello again from Baltimore. I want to introduce you to someone that has become my favorite artist here. He has such a wonderful story to tell and such beautiful jewelry that he creates and it, there's so much variety. So we're gonna take a couple of minutes for you to get to know Keith Lewis. Keith, tell us about your beginnings in art. Oh, thanks so much. I, I Well, I really started making jewelry when I was about 12 years old in South Korea. I was on an army base, I was an army brat, and um, there was a craft shop there. I started cutting stones there, doing lapidary. Uh, I really continued to make jewelry really steadily until I went to college for it in Oklahoma at uh, OU. Uh, then on to uh, get my master's in, uh, in just north of New York City in New Paltz. Um, I realized, really, I, I think I had my first interest in jewelry when I remembered looking at uh, bits of glass and corn silk I'd collected in my father's cigar box. So or your whole life has been that's, spent that's looking true. at pretty sparkly things. It's huh? true, yeah. yeah. Well, I am taken with all the different materials that you are using now, things that uh, that I don't think we will see from other artists. So this is an example of something I'm fascinated about. What is this, Keith? Look, they're actually made from recycled water bottles. I was looking for recycled materials to make jewelry from and I found a, a company that grinds up thousands of plastic water bottles into a board, a material used in outdoor signs. So I experimented with it and I found I could make a super light uh, earring from it. I don't know that I've made a big dent in the world's supply of plastic water bottles, but I'm trying to do something. <laughs> well, you know, we go from recycled plastic water bottles, let's look right around the corner here, to some other beautiful materials. I am particularly fascinated by this uh, group. It's uh, my favorite combination of black and silver. So what are we looking at sure. here? Sure, I, I call this my batik group. What I've done, I've, I've tried to use a lot of other processes and move it into a jewelry realm. Um, I take silver that I polish and then I paint to resist on it, then oxidize and burnish it. Uh, that's how it gets its pattern, somewhat similar to, uh, to uh, batik fabric. I've used uh, natural stones, a lot of natural stones, and then some of the sparkliest stones I could find. They're cubic zirconia from Switzerland. They all clip close from the back and they all move. That's something that's in all of my jewelry. I think you'll find that all of Keith's jewelry is extremely lightweight. It's going to be very comfortable to wear. We have some beautiful colors to offer that I think will take us all through the summer and going into the fall with our uh, special fashion colors. So, Keith, we're looking forward to having you in our store. It's a Thanks pleasure. Thanks so much. Pleasure. And I, and I hope you'll stay in my booth. You're doing such a good job of explaining my jewelry. <laughs> I, definitely better than me. So thanks for the opportunity. You're very welcome.